Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Natalie. I create all kinds of home content on my channel, home lifestyle, DIYs, decor hauls, things like that. And I do a lot of thrifting. So if you are new here, you might not know that about me. I love to thrift, especially for home decor. I just find um, it can be very expensive to decorate your home, especially if you do what I did, which was go from a very small space to a much bigger space um, when my husband and I bought our first home. So today I wanted to give you guys some tips into thrifting and antiquing and kind of what I look for when I go thrifting. The first thing I do is go straight to the furniture section. So at thrift stores, I'm typically looking for smaller furniture. Usually really big pieces are hard to come by at places like Goodwill or other thrift stores. Those I'm more likely going to find on Facebook Marketplace. But at Goodwill, sometimes you can find little pieces, little old antique chairs that might could tuck in a corner and put a plant on or a pillow or a blanket or just kind of add a little touch of cozy decor. Um, I've also gotten a nightstand from Goodwill that I just spray painted and replaced the hardware on and it looks good as new. It's in our guest room. So anything like that, little end tables, benches, stools that you could put in a corner and again put a plant on or something like that. Things that just make a little decorative touch um, to a space. You can get those at Goodwill because small pieces are easy to paint. Um, they're easy to clean and refinish and all of that. So typically that's what I do first. I also love to look at the section that has, um, it's like a woodware kind of section where they might have different kinds of hooks that you can hang in your house for decor. You can hang, you know, grocery or not grocery, but like market bags on, hats for decor. You can hang wreaths on them in the winter time, um, peg rails or shelves that are already built and have, you know, holes for hardware and things like that. It's great to get those at thrift stores because if you go to like Target and try to get a floating shelf, they're like $30. It's ridiculous. So you can get them at a thrift store. I've gotten many and I've just had to, I got one peg rail that I had to just kind of paint with another coat of white paint because it was kind of had some other colors splattered on it, but no problem when I repainted it um, and it is hanging in my entryway right now. So different things like that wall kind of hooks, peg rails, shelves are great to find at the thrift store. Kind of going off of that wall decor. So I always look at the mirrors the artwork and the frames. So even if you don't like the artwork inside of the frame, consider getting the, the piece just for the frame. And you can either put a new piece of art inside of it, or you can take all of the glass and everything out and just use that frame um, as like a layering piece. If you have shelves, you can kind of put like a photo and then kind of layer behind it an empty frame. I love that look. Um, and a lot of times frames can be very expensive, so you might as well get it at the thrift store. They can be very affordable at the thrift store. You can also get kind of unique, antique looking mirrors at thrift stores. If you want something, if you wanted to do maybe a mirror gallery wall, or you wanted to just add a mirror to an existing gallery wall, I think that is a great place to find pieces like that. Or just in general, wall art. Sometimes they have very beautiful kind of vintagey looking wall art that might be pretty for a bathroom or a guest room. I have um, a couple of hanging prints of flowers that I have here in my office that were from a thrift store and very, very inexpensive. So definitely look through those. You might have to do some digging, but you can find some real gems. Okay, into the more decor pieces, I always look at baskets. And there is definitely a time when you can have too many baskets. So be careful with this. I always look for ones that are in good shape and that are a color that I like. Because if they're a really dark color or if they're broken, those are two things you really can't do much about. It's very hard to paint baskets because of the woven nature of them, the texture. So if you find one that is a color that you like, is a good size and is in good quality, it's probably worth picking up. I love baskets for going on top of, like I have one on top of my fridge with florals coming out of it. I love them for on an end table and you can just kind of throw some florals in or filler if you, you know, if it's wintertime, you wanna put like pine cones and other things 
Um, that is, I love that look as well. I love baskets, like smaller storage baskets on open shelving to conceal maybe toys, kids' toys, dog toys, etc. Um, I also love them in closets if you need kind of a way to organize your linen closet or your bathroom storage and you just need to like roll up some washcloths and put them in a little basket. Um, and they can be so expensive at places, even like TJ Maxx. So if you can find them at the thrift store, they're in good enough shape, you clean them out, boom, done, it'll be great. Also, they can be good kind of if they're like a bigger basket, you can put them in the corner of a room, throw a pillow and a blanket kind of spilling out. You know, I love that look as well. If you know me, um, I have a basket with a blanket in it probably in every room of my entire house. And again, at, at TJ Maxx, those can run about $15. So if you can get it for five at the thrift store, that's pretty darn good. I also love to look at hanging baskets. So baskets with a flat back, you can hang on the wall and put greenery in. I have several of those in my house and they just add a really neutral, very kind of cozy cottage look to your wall decor. Definitely keep an eye out for good baskets. Everybody will tell you at the thrift store to look for books. And honestly, I feel like thrift store books aren't even as cheap as I would like them to be. Sometimes they can run about $2.00. Um, but if you find some really beautiful ones with, that are in good condition that maybe have like gold lettering on the cover, um, I found some like very vintagey looking books that were in my opinion, a great deal. And I use them as risers on nightstands, maybe to put a lamp on top of because I'm on my open shelving in my living room. Um, just, I have them stacked horizontally. I have them stacked vertically. I have them spines facing out. I have some with the pages kind of facing forward just to kind of add a different look. It, it's just very, I don't know, books make you make your home feel very lived in, I feel like. So the thrift store is a great place to get those. Also a great place to get books to read because we all know Barnes and Noble is like $12 a book. Um, I know my library often is out of a lot of books. So go check out the thrift store. Maybe you'll find what you're looking for. Okay, a couple more things. One thing that is great to get at the thrift store is floral stems. So you have to be careful and you have to really dig, but sometimes you can get really nice quality faux florals at the thrift store. So I've gotten, I got stems that had like blueberries on them that were in really decent shape. This summer I had them out um, in my, on my basket on my fridge and it looked really great. It kind of had that summery berry look to it. It was very pretty for summer, I think. Um, and then just recently I found these huge tall floral stems with like beige and maroon leaves, very fall and they're big and they, they're on a vase in my entry and they look gorgeous. They are actually in my last thrift haul that I posted on my channel, I believe, but such a steal. They were a couple of bucks. Those would have been much more expensive had I got them at Hobby Lobby or Joann's, even on sale. Super pretty and very unique. I've never seen anything like it. So definitely look through floral stems. Sometimes you just need filler for, you know, a vase that's on a shelf somewhere. Um, and the thrift store will be a great place to get it. Because even if it's not the best quality, if it's something that's not going to be, you know, viewed from up close, it's probably fine. Last thing, and this is something I struggled with at first when I was thrifting, was I never looked at any kind of fabric. So I never looked at pillows, linens, um, blankets, anything like that. Until one day I was looking, I don't know why, and I saw this gorgeous knit blanket. And this is also in a thrift haul from, I don't know when, a couple videos back, but it was this gorgeous, like it looked like hand knit blanket and it was like $5. And I thought, this is gorgeous. Even if I don't use this, I have to get it. So I took it home, put it through my washing machine. It washed beautifully. And then I started thinking, well, if I can just wash these items and they turn out great and they're nice and clean, why, why not? Like, why should I be afraid to get that at the thrift store? So since then I've gotten a tablecloth for like 50 cents. I've gotten a really cute Christmas pillow, accent pillow. And um, a dishcloth, Christmas dishcloth, things like that, that even if you don't want to use them for their intended purpose, um, like my, my mom will take dishcloths and make pillow covers, different things. I mean, you can just get fabric to sew with, or you can get a pillow and recover it. Um, just wash it really good. I know little throw pillows you can definitely throw in the washing machine. Just do a couple cycles maybe. Um, 
But yeah, it's definitely a great place to get things like that because A, you might see some different styles and designs than you would see maybe out in the stores now um, and is obviously much more affordable. So anyways, guys, those are all of the things I look at when I go thrifting, some tips and tricks for you guys. Another thing would be make sure you know which stores, the stores that you go to, which days they have new arrivals and which days they have certain items on sale. So I know one store I visit, certain days of the week they have like home home good stuff is half off some days or clothing half off whatever so if you can kind of nail down those patterns then that might help you when you go out in your hunt to get the best deals so anyways you guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video if you like thrift content please give it a thumbs up and subscribe i will see you guys again in a new video I post every Wednesday at 8 a.m. Eastern time and every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And I would love to see you guys here. Thanks again for watching. Bye.